continue to field questions for us, Amelia. I have a student from within the Telegram group asks a very good question uh, where he says, I've heard that CBSE slash comp has an emphasis more on old slash recycled NBME questions. He goes, he's not sure. It's just a rumor he's heard. So for example, should we focus more on the offline NBMEs 20 through 24 in my PDFs and less on the new forms 25 through 30? And I have a very fucking excellent response here. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. The links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. And now start the clip. So the student's asking about comp in terms of is there a focus slash emphasis on the older NBME content? And hence, should he focus on 20 through 24 my PDFs rather than the newer forms, 25 through 30? And, the, and I said I have a very fucking excellent answer, which is that no, you need to focus on all of the NVMEs 20 through 30. Now look, this is a lengthy discussion. I've made plenty of clips here on YouTube talking about comp slash CBSE, but for most students, most, they're just praying to pass comp. So there is no step one unless you pass comp. We need to go guns out blazing 20 through 30 to get you through the comp. It's a rumor, as you fucking said, that the emphasis is going to be on the old slash retired NBME questions, 20 through 24, as opposed to 25 through 30. Absolute rumor, okay? People like to manifest these myths. It's a form of escapism, okay? People don't actually know which tilt slash slant of questions is going to show up on your comp CBSC versus the real deal. Are you going to get a lot of biochemistry, molecular type questions that go back to NBME 1? Okay, there's a question on Gibbs free energy on NBME 1, but there's also on one of the comp exams that I've seen that a student has sent me, there's also a question on Gibbs free energy. So you can say, oh, wait, but that's offline forms. But there's newer questions as well. You're going to get communication style questions. Okay, I mean, there's lots of parallels. So once again, it's myth. We like to speculate. It's escapism. So my point of consolidation is that for the majority of you watching us who are just trying to get through your comp exam and not waste fucking time, you need to make sure you know NBME is 20 through 30, all of them, okay? Those 11 forms, 20 through 30, and you're going to know high yield arrows, the PDF that I've harped on in my prior clips. You will pass comp if you know it, if you know not just the NBMEs, 20 to 30 really well, but if you know high yield arrows very well, okay? And as I've said, I've made lots of clips here on the YouTube. You can check the exam guidance playlist. You know the deal, I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.